Good evening. Please stand for the national anthem played by Willow Run. Willow Run is an up-and-coming local band out of Toledo, Ohio, playing indie covers with multiple unreleased originals. After meeting a few short months ago, the group has played eight live performances in 2023. The group consists of five members, including Jack Sertman and Mitch Latondres on guitar, Nick Rakowski on bass, Elijah Halterman on drum set, and Jack Shantz behind the microphone. Tonight, you will hear an instrumental performance featuring guitar, drums, and bass. To learn more about Willow Run and to follow along with their live performances, follow their Instagram at Willow Run Music. Songfest 2023. The title of this year's competition is Rocket Evolution. My name is Jonathan Kopaz, and accompanying me here is Jamie Goldman. Songfest started in 1937 as a singing and dancing competition between U Toledo fraternities on the lawn outside of University Hall. Over the past 86 years, Songfest has grown to include sororities and other student organizations and has been held at many different locations, including the Student Union Steps, the Fieldhouse, the Peristyle, and the Seagate Center, before finally arriving to its current home, Savage Arena. Before we begin the competition, allow me first to introduce to you your master and mistress of ceremonies, Mr. Yash Shingen and Ms. Jada Alcantara. Yash is a senior from India studying media communications in the College of Arts and Letters. He is the current president of International Student Association, where he began his journey of involvement on campus and is the second ever international student to be Songfest MC. He is also a proud brother of Phi Kappa Psi and a member of the 2021-2022 class of Blue Key National Honor Society, where he helped to empower change through the principle of brotherhood. He has also been a part of student government Alpha Phi Omega Service Fraternity, and Rocket Damaka Bollywood Fusion Dance Team, just to name a few. Tonight, he is proud to represent his brothers in the Peppers Chapter of Mortarboard Senior National Honor Society. Jada is a junior from New Jersey studying cosmetic science in the College of Pharmacy. She is a member of Chi Omega, serving as the first DEI chair of the chapter. She previously served as the 2022 Pan-Hellenic President and is so proud to see all nine chapters participating in the women's division tonight. She currently serves as the Vice President of the Cosmetic Chemist Society as well as Blue Key and also she is the incoming President of Mortarboard National College Senior Honor Society. She is an employee of the Office of Undergraduate Admissions where she has continued to give tours since her first semester on campus. Jada is the MC representing the ARCS chapter of Blue Key National Honor Society tonight. Before we welcome them to the stage, please enjoy this opening video from our MCs. Welcome to Savage Arena. My name is Yash Shingen and I am the Motorboard representative for Songfest 2023. And my name is Jada Alcantara and I am the Blue Key National Honor Society representative for Songfest 2023. Songfest is the University of Toledo's second oldest tradition dating back to 1937. 
It was originally created to foster unity amongst fraternities. Since then, we have expanded further with the addition of the women's and co-ed divisions. All organizations have been working so hard for these past couple of months, and we're so excited to see them tonight. We had the unique pleasure of having the Bethany House as the chosen philanthropy for Songfest 2023. Over the past couple of months, you've had the opportunity to see what happens when the Rocket community, Toledo community, and so many great individuals come together to promote the empowerment of survivors of domestic violence by providing them with a long-term transitional shelter and advocacy to maximize safety, ensure access to resources, and restore hope with dignity and respect. That all culminates today. On one stage for one night, allow us to introduce you to Songfest 2023, Rocket Evolution. Then I saw her face. Good evening and welcome to Songfest 2023, Rocket Evolution. Thank you all for attending our 85th annual event. I would like to recognize our judges for tonight's competition. Will the judges please stand and wave to the crowd as your name is called. Our first judge of the night is Dr. Sammy Spann. Dr. Sammy Spann was named Vice President of Student Affairs and Dean of Students effective July 1, 2022. Dr. Spann is a strong student advocate who has been part of the University of Toledo community for 20 years. Dr. Spann came to U Toledo in 2002, bringing the Camp Adventure program to campus and growing it to one of the largest training sites in the country. Dr. Spann does numerous presentations every year and has traveled extensively in more than 72 countries. He has attended Harvard Business School's High Potentials Leadership Training and Millennium Leadership Institute, a Utilito alumnus, Dr. Spann earned his PhD in special education curriculum and instruction from the Judith Herb College of Education. He has an MA in special education, severe behaviors, and autism from the University of Northern Iowa, and a BA in infant and child development from Fort Valley State University. Dr. Spann's work has been published in Liberian Studies Journal and focus on autism and other developmental disabilities. Our second judge for the night is Brittany Cooper-Sonnen. Brittany Cooper-Sonnen received both her bachelor's in bioengineering and her master's in counselor education from the University of Toledo. While in graduate school, she had an assistantship with the Office of Residence Life, which gave her her first opportunity to work with college students. She then started her career in community mental health, but after a few years out of school, she realized she missed working with young adults and being surrounded by the energy of a college campus. She returned as a success coach in the fall of 2018 and has loved the opportunity to work with college students as they work toward their academic and career goals. She also really values education and lifelong learning, so she still enjoys taking classes and is currently working towards a graduate certificate in disability studies. She began training in dance from a young age and she has experience in tap, jazz, ballet, lyrical, hip hop, and musical theater styles. 
She also enjoys singing and participates frequently in community theater, both as a performer and a choreographer. Her first experience in choreographing for a group dance was actually in Songfest when she competed with her sorority. Next, Duane Welch. Duane Welch graduated from the University of Toledo with his bachelor's degree in communications in 2009. And he will receive his master's in higher education this spring. He previously worked as a juvenile probation officer for Lucas County Juvenile Court for nine years. He has always had a passion for supporting higher education students and joined the University of Toledo as a success coach in 2021 and is now the TRIO Student Support Services Advisor. In his free time, he loves to travel with his wife and two children and has been to over 14 different countries and 37 states. He's a member of the Beta Jeet chapter of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated through the University of Toledo. He was a finalist for the University of Toledo's Outstanding Advisor Award this school year and is the current trainer for the management team of the new Rocket Kids program at the University of Toledo. <laughs> Lastly, we have Dr. Alexandria Hanhold. Dr. Alexandria Hanhold joined the music faculty as the visiting assistant professor of voice at the University of Toledo, where she serves as the voice area coordinator directs the U Toledo Opera Ensemble, and teaches applied voice, lyric diction, and vocal pedagogy and literature. Dr. Handhold is a recent graduate from the Ohio State University, where she earned her Doctor of Musical Arts in Vocal Performance. While at Ohio State, she additionally pursued a graduate interdisciplinary specialization in singing health and a graduate certificate in college and university teaching. Dr. Hanhold is a passionate about teaching functional voice and she specializes in cross training in both classical and contemporary styles. Her recent dissertation investigated the integration of musical theater, vocal pedagogy, technique, and repertoire within voice programs at Ohio Public Universities. Her additional research interests include evidence-based vocal pedagogy, vocal health, and curriculum development. Please join us in welcoming all our judges at this time. Before we begin tonight's competition, we would like to recognize our chosen philanthropy for the night, Bethany House. Bethany House is a long-term shelter in Northwest Ohio for victims and their children who are escaping domestic violence. With the core values of reverence, service, stewardship, and community, Bethany House is the only Toledo area domestic violence shelter that offers long-term apartment-style transitional living. Many survivors are with the Bethany House for more than a year. Bethany House provides the services, tools, and resources survivors need to rebuild their lives, all free of charge. Since 1984, Bethany House has served more than 2,000 individuals and provided more than 300,000 nights of safe shelter for victims and their children escaping domestic abuse in our area. Annually, Bethany House serves an average of 30 families. Money fundraised tonight will aid in the contribution to the Bethany House's mission to empower survivors of domestic violence and their children by providing long-term transitional shelter and advocacy to maximize safety, ensure access to resources, and restore hope with dignity and respect. My name is Deidre Lashley. I'm the executive director of Bethany House. I've been here for about 10 years. My name is Nina Lapley. I'm the associate director. My name is Stephanie Potter. I am the U program coordinator of Bethany House. I've been with Bethany House for six and a half years. I've always had a passion for families and especially children. My goal is just to bring peace and love back into the family to create a healthy family bonding. Bethany House is a long-term domestic violence shelter for um, survivors and their children to be able to stay at no cost for a year to two years in a safe place while they rebuild their lives after fleeing domestic violence. Providing a safe environment for them and their children. Well, wow, it's a jewel. I always say this is a precious gem that is so vital. It provides love, compassion. It provides togetherness with women and children who feel like they have been forgotten. 
and they come to a place where they get their peace back and Bethany House offer healing and compassion to those who once felt like a dream was impossible, but now that they can dream and those dreams can become their reality. Our mission is important because there's only a handful of shelters like ours in the state of Ohio. So we're really fortunate to have a place like Bethany House here in Northwest Ohio. Um, where we can give survivors the time and space they need to heal, not only physically and emotionally, but financially, they can start to rebuild and get on their feet so they can be um, stable and have a violence-free life. The mission of Bethany House is important to me because we focus on the total being of the person. We focus on emotional healing, financial healing, physical healing and when you have when that encompass all those things that creates healing for a total person and our goal is just to bring some normalcy back into their lives so they'll be able to go out in the community and feel like they are powerful and that they can survive no matter what obstacles may come their way. I think domestic violence is affecting, if not ourselves personally, it's affecting someone that we know really well. It's happening to one in three women. Um, so if you think of the folks that you know in your life, how many people that is um, that's being affected by domestic violence. So it's definitely an issue that we all need to be a part of solving. It's important so that way we can educate others um, and try and help prevent people from being through these situations helping people um, see what the signs are and give them ideas on how they can reach out and you know help and support people who have been through domestic violence. To know that you can give back to individuals who have made lost everything, um, to help empower them by giving back your time, by volunteering, by donating, and I believe that it can really impact a generation to know that even if they are experiencing domestic violence, even in their home or with a significant other, Songfest will bring that awareness to individuals who may not know what Bethany House is. Another um, program that Bethany House has is our Northwest Ohio Silent Witness Project. And this project incorporates 50 figures like this that each tell the story of a woman or girl who's been murdered from domestic violence in our community. This project demonstrates just the lethal impact of domestic violence, the ripple effect that domestic violence is having in our community. You know, last year, 50% of the homicides in Toledo were related to domestic violence, so we're working to save lives. Um, when victims leave their abusers, they're 75 times more likely to be murdered. Um, so our shelter provides that safety that people so desperately need to get out. Um, and this project just illustrates um, and memorializes uh, the, the lives that have been lost in our community. So again, the mission of Bethany House is so important and we appreciate everyone's support. Before we begin today's competition, we would like to pay tribute to Cheryl Thomas. Cheryl Thomas served the University of Toledo for 26 years. She was one of the most beloved individuals on campus and believed in the power of our student leaders. During her tenure at this institution, she worked in various offices, including the Office of First Year Experience, Study Abroad, the Center for International Studies and Programs, and finally for the Vice President of Student Affairs and Dean of Students. In each of these roles, Cheryl got to showcase her passion for working with students and celebrate what it means to be a rocket. Cheryl received her bachelor's degree in liberal studies from the University of Toledo in 2017, was recognized in April 2022 with the Dr. Alice Skeen's Outstanding Women Award from the University Women's Commission. She received the University of Toledo Shining Star Award and Classified Staff Award in 2004.
Finally, she was a proud honorary member of the Blue Key Honor Society, inducted in 2018. She was our cheerleader on homecoming morning, rallying everyone and being the life of the party. We would like to welcome Dave, Jenny, and Michael Thomas to the stage to accept flowers on behalf of us students and staff. Cheryl is deeply missed by many in the Rocket family, but as student leaders, we are committed to carrying on her legacy of being proud U Toledo Rockets and living every day to the fullest. In Cheryl's loving memory, we are introducing a brand new award to Songfest this year. The Cheryl Thomas People's Choice Award is meant to be a reflection of Cheryl's advocacy and empowerment of the Rocket community. Everyone will be able to cast a vote for the organization of their choosing through a donation to the Bethany House. You're able to vote from now until 7.50 p.m. tonight through the donation station placed at the main concourse. Please note that they are only accepting cash and coins. Once again, you can vote for the organization of your choosing with cash or coins through the donation station placed at the main concourse until 7.50 p.m. At the end of the night, the organization with the highest votes will win the Shell Thomas People's Choice Award. Eighteen groups participating in tonight's competition will be evaluated in the areas of dance, originality, stage presence, use of props, and most importantly, vocal quality. Each group has worked hard for months to put together a truly incredible show for you this evening. Without further delay, we present to you Songfest 2023 Rocket Evolution. Pi Kappa Phi was established nationally on December 10th, 1904, and was chartered locally at the University of Toledo on December 8th, 1951. Pi Kappa Phi was founded on the premise of providing leadership opportunities for its members and strives to create an uncommon and lifelong brotherhood that develops leaders and encourages service to others for the betterment of our communities. Pi Kappa Phi is the only fraternity to own and operate its own philanthropy, the Ability Experience, along with a 40 plus year partnership with Sunshine Communities, which both raise money and awareness for people with disabilities. Tonight, they invite us to come along with them as they share songs that have inspired us for decades to get back up again when we get knocked down. Because sometimes, that's life. Presenting That's Life with Pi Kappa Phi. That's life. That's what all the people say You're riding high in April Shot down in May But I know I'm gonna change that too When I'm back on top Back on top in June I said that's right
In 1905, the 10 founders of Kappa Delta Rho came together to create a brotherhood that promotes holding honor before all things. 80 years later, the Pi Alpha chapter was established at the University of Toledo by a group of young, inspiring men. These brothers raised money for their philanthropy, the Be Positive Foundation and Snow Pile, which was founded by their ambitious alumni. Continuously growing, their brothers stay involved in the Interfraternity Council, Blue Key, Mortarboard, and many more. Tonight, they wanted to connect with the audience with music that came out either when you were young, the music you heard at your wedding, or reminding you of the time it was released. They want to spark the memories of the audience, regardless of age, to create a connection with their performance. Seeing people remembering the good times they had associated with the song puts a smile on their faces, and they hope it does for you too. Presenting, Melodies Turning Into Sweet Memories.
Triangle was founded in 1907 as a civil engineering fraternity and in Toledo in 1971, where they now accept all STEM majors. Recently celebrating 50 years of brotherhood, they now work closely with Habitat for Humanity and FIRST Robotics to bring STEM to others. With something new practically every week, their charity stream and canoeing trips are big hits. Built off of their character and honor, Triangle provides a unique experience for their members and everyone they work with. Tonight, they want to share the message that even though war has been an international horror since before the 50s, those with a voice have stood against the glorification of violence and will continue to do so for as long as necessary. Presenting, War Never Changes. Generals gathered in their masses Like witches of black masses Evil minds of plot destruction Floss of death construction In the fields the bodies burning to mankind, poisoning their brainwashed minds. Oh, Lord, yeah! Well, I can't stop food, I hope, I shoot, I need, because he's a war cannibal animal. I walk the corner to the rubble. There used to be a library, light up to the mind cemetery now. But we don't know, keep the contracts and lives are moving. They don't gotta burn the books, they just remove them.
Sigma Alpha Epsilon was founded on March 9, 1856 at the University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa. The Ohio New Chapter at the University of Toledo was founded in March of 1953. The organization defines its four core values of loyalty, friendship, honor, and fraternity and illustrates them in their creed, the true gentleman. The fraternity's national philanthropies are Children's Miracle Network, Be the Match, Movember, and sleep in heavenly peace. Sigma Alpha Epsilon brothers are heavily involved on campus in organizations such as Circle K, Pay It Forward, Levis Leadership, the University Cheer Team, and much more. Tonight, they wanted to focus on the music through the decades where the girl is right outside of the guy's reach and the end of the performance, the guy finally reaches her. Presenting, cruising through the decades with SAEs. I'm 
The Pi Kappa Alpha Fraternity was founded on March 1, 1868 at the University of Virginia under the pillars of SLAG, scholars, leaders, athletes, and gentlemen. Since its founding at the University of Toledo, the Epsilon Epsilon chapter has raised over $65,000 for various philanthropies and has completed over 42,000 hours of community service. Pi Kappa Alpha works closely with Children's Miracle Network, Relay for Life, Wrap Up Toledo, and Rockathon at the University of Toledo. Tonight they ask, have you ever met that special someone? You try to build up the courage to take a chance on love, but keep shying away. That one special person you wish would just take you on. You try to forget them, but you keep remembering that night, a night of dancing where sparks flew. It drives you crazy to the point where it makes you want to shout, but you wouldn't have it any other way. Presenting, Tonight is the night. Take on Pike.
Sigma Phi Epsilon was founded in 1901 on the campus of Richmond College in Richmond, Virginia. The Ohio IOTA chapter was founded on September 30th, 1950. Founded on the core values of virtue, diligence, and brotherly love, there are nearly 350,000 lifetime members of SIGEP, making them one of the largest national fraternities. Each year, the Ohio IOTA chapter raises money for families in need in the Toledo area through multiple philanthropic and service efforts. Tonight, they invite us to join them as SIGEP overcomes the heartbreaks and miseries of love. Presenting, SIGEP Gets Over the One. Yeah. 
The Phi Kappa Psi fraternity was founded on February 19, 1852 at Jefferson College in Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania. The Ohio Ada chapter at the University of Toledo was established on October 21, 1950 by assimilating the local Sigma Beta Phi fraternity. Today, all of their members are involved in another UT organization besides Phi Psi. Every year, they raise money for their national philanthropy, the Boys and Girls Club, through Phi Psi Quesadillas. Their predecessors, the Sig Bates, were the originators of Songfest. Tonight, they hope to embody that fun attitude with their performance. Their headlining song, Great Balls of Fire, highlights this message and sets the tone for the remainder of their performance. The songs in their performance are all upbeat and memorable, so everyone is sure to have a good time singing along and watching them. Presenting Phi Psi on Fire, performed by my brothers of Phi Kappa Psi! Take my nerves and you rattle my brain. Too much love drives a man insane. You broke my wheel, but oh, what a thrill. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. I left that love because I thought it was funny. You came along. 
That concludes our men's division for this evening. Thank you for all the amazing performances. Softfest is a time when I get to see everyone at the University of Toledo come together under one roof, and it's really fun to see what everyone worked so hard on to put together. Songfest means getting to spend lots and lots and lots of time with your sisters and just getting to have fun together. Songfest to me is a way for all organizations on campus to get together for a common cause and raise money. To me, Songfest is such a great way to be creative and have fun, all while working towards a common goal of raising money for something greater than ourselves. Songfest, you know, it means a lot of things. I think the biggest thing is, you know, it's great that we're all getting together and raising money for philanthropy. It's a huge accomplishment. Most of our girls weren't singers or dancers, and they really put their all into it. Songfest to me means sharing my passion for music with my sisters. I think it's a great way to pull our community together. 
To me, Songfest is a really awesome creative outlet. I'm getting to be with all your best friends and putting a lot of hard work and dedication into a good cause. Getting involved in New Toledo uh, like no other way possible. Uh, I think it's an opportunity for a lot of great, amazing, different communities to come together and perform and show the talents that we have in our amazing school of Toledo. Uh, Songfest to me is like a bunch of people from different backgrounds and people that may not necessarily mesh together coming together for a great cause and having fun with it. Songfest to me is a chance to do what I love, singing and dancing, surrounded by people that I love, my sisters, and supporting a philanthropy that means so much to me. Um, Songfest means getting together with the community and supporting a philanthropy we love while also having maybe some friendly competition in there. Songfest to me is a competition between organizations that we are fighting for someone bigger than just us. Songfest is just a time to be with my friends and have fun and raise money for a great philanthropy. Songfest gives me a chance to um, pursue my passion in music and support philanthropies by being the director of my chapter. It's just spending time with my friends and getting to learn how to dance and sing. Songfest gives me the opportunity to get closer with my sisters and my chapter. Songfest means coming together as a Toledo community and giving back to an amazing cause. To me, Songfest is a time to bring the community together and a bunch of people together and a bunch of organizations to raise money for philanthropy and be able to give back. Just coming together of all the biggest orgs on campus, it's like getting everyone together as a community, but also serving the community. Some of the biggest orgs on our campus coming together to perform and entertain for everybody. Competing for something above yourself and really bringing the community together. Songfest is one of our oldest traditions here at the University of Toledo. Uh, individuals get to come together in the Greek life community and get to raise money for a great philanthropy cause. I love it. Um, I love my brothers. I love being a part of the IFC community. Songfest to me is all about fellowship and bringing the community together. It's a great way for the Toledo community to get together, have a good time, while at the same time raising money for our philanthropy. Songfest for me means uh, it's a great opportunity for competition amongst organizations. It's more than just singing and dancing and trophies. It's getting together with your brothers day in and day out and building a unique relationship with them that you're, you know, that you're never really going to see after. Um, it's kind of showing a different side to Greek life than anybody really sees. Combining singing and dancing to give back to the Toledo community. The International Students Association was founded at the University of Toledo in 1974. ISA was founded to build a home and a community for the international students and promote the diversity that U Toledo encompasses. ISA inherits its diversity and culture from all around the world. ISA's values are kindness, leadership, cultural growth, individuality, and community service. ISA's biggest events on campus are iVillage and iDinner. This year's iDinner was the 45th annual iDinner. Next year, they will be celebrating 50 years of ISA at the University of Toledo. Tonight, through their Songfest performance, ISA hopes to show the support coming from their hearts for this year's philanthropy as it is very important to them. Through their performance, they hope to promote self-love and the love and appreciation they have for the work Bethany House is doing. All of their songs also touch on the heart and love in some way, so they wanted to incorporate this into their theme. They hope that you can feel the self-love and positive energy in their performance. Presenting, but first, love yourself.
secure, don't know what for. You're turning heads when you walk through the door. Don't need makeup to cover up. Being the way that you are is enough. The Catholic Student Association was founded in 1939. CSA is one of the largest co-ed organizations on UT's campus. It strives to serve as the presence of Jesus Christ on campus, hosting many events throughout the year at Corpus Christi University Parish, located across Door Street. CSA proudly serves as a home away from home for all students. They foster spiritual, social, ac academic, and service-based growth through various events and activities. Tonight, CSA is hosting a dance party where music from the past six decades is played. There will definitely be a disco ball to celebrate and light up the night. Guests attending were asked to dress in their best disco wear that would shine under the shimmering lights. They will be rocking out with the Songfest soundtrack during the disco party to dance the night away. Presenting CSA's Disco Through the Decades.
thank you to all of the co-ed organizations and performers. We truly enjoyed watching your wonderful performances. It is my pleasure to bring to the stage the current president of Motorboard, Ms. Kelly Schreiber, to the stage as she recognizes the current class of Motorboard and introduces the new class of 2023 to 2024. Good evening. My name is Kelly Schreiber, and I am the current president of Motorboard National College Senior Honor Society here at the University of Toledo. Mortar Board recognizes students from the junior and continuing senior classes for their achievements in three important areas, leadership, scholarship, and service. There are over 200 chapters of Mortar Board across the nation, and the University of Toledo is proud to host the Peppers chapter of Mortar Board on its campus. At this time, we would like to recognize the current 2022 to 2023 class. Seham Abuta. John Campbell, Mackenzie Hofer, Abigail Hogue, Jonathan Kopaz, Cameron Kruger. Claire Criscala, Lauren Wrights, Eric Salvati, Alex Santoro, Nathan Scott, Jeremiah Snyder, Hannah Spillett, Kyle Storer, Kaylee George, Yash Shinghang, Katie Heckenmuller, Aaron Black, Kelly Schreiber, Jamison Halliday, Jacob Partington, Ihe Chilaru Igwe, Beneath Alturo, Samantha Glowacki, Nick Wishmeyer, Claire Harvey, and Pranati Kungara. At this time, we would like to introduce to you the 2023 to 2024 class of Mortarboard. Connor Addison, Jada Alcantara. <laughs> Olivia Castle. <laughs> Emma Kaminsky. <laughs> Tarek Davaroli. <laughs> Sarah Finger. Greta Fobear, Jamie Goldman, Snigda Gorthy, Amira Harris, Holly Heck, Dima Herzala. Lily Hickey, Brayden Holloway, Ren Jackson, Megan Carl, 
Abigail Kohler, Amol Coley, Jacob Lombardi, Molly Malk, Samuel Newberger, Gavin Pokersnick, Lane Rippey, Corinne Rubel, Karam Senhu, Ruthie Serrano, Colin Tews, and Brianna Trecha. Please join me in congratulating these new members of the Peppers Chapter of Mortar Board. Deidre Lashley has been the executive director of Bethany House since 2013 and has over 25 years of experience working with domestic violence, sexual violence, and human trafficking survivors. Deidre obtained her bachelor's in social work from the University of Toledo and has been a licensed social worker since 1997. Deidre earned her master's degree in public health in 2006. She is grateful to have the opportunity to use the tools she learned at UToledo to make an impact in our community. Please help us welcome to the stage Deidre Lashley, the executive director of Bethany House. Good evening, everybody. Wow, the energy and the effort and the excitement of tonight is such a pleasure to be a part of. And myself, representing Bethany House, we are so thankful that we've been chosen to be the charity of choice this year. Um, and I just also want to thank those of you who give and volunteer all year round with Bethany House. Many of you volunteer, come in as groups to help clean our facility, do special projects with the children staying at Bethany House. So just want to express our appreciation for all that you do for us all year round. But we are so excited to be here with you all tonight. You know, Bethany House has a very unique mission of providing long-term shelter for victims of domestic violence and their children. Most domestic violence shelters have a short-term 30 to 60 day stay. We're only one of three shelters in the state of Ohio that provide a longer stay of a year to two years. And that gives survivors really the time that they need to physically heal, emotionally put pieces back together, and then financially able to get on their feet to have more stability after they leave our, sh our shelter. And so we really appreciate the support tonight. The financial support is not only going to be helping the 36 families that are staying in our shelter and our housing program tonight, but every dollar that is invested in Bethany House saves our community over $65 in social costs like law enforcement, court administration, mental health and medical costs because of domestic violence happening in our community. So every dollar that is being invested tonight into Bethany House is helping our entire community. And so it's a really good investment. You know, and we believe that safe communities start with safe homes. 
So we really appreciate your partnership with us tonight to help create safer homes for those that we're serving and as we reach out into the greater community to end domestic violence. Thank you so much again. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you, Deirdre. Now we would like to thank the generous sponsor that helped make Songfest 2023 possible. Thank you to our special sponsor, Sylvan Studios. It is now time for a 10 minute intermission. Please enjoy a few fun videos throughout the break, including features of the National Panhellenic Council and the Multicultural Greek Council here at UToledo. song is any of the songs off of Cape Elizabeth by Noah Khan. My favorite song is Hard to Forget by Sam Hunt. I don't know that I necessarily have a favorite song, but my favorite artist is definitely Morgan Warren. My favorite song is Going to California by Led Zeppelin. My favorite song is Golden Hour by Jake. I'm Still Standing by Elton John. Probably um, Hazel Inside by Black Bear. Losing Control Part 2 by Russ. Everybody Wants to Rule the World by Tears for Fears. Mr. Brightside by The Killers. Uh, my favorite song is You Oughta Know by Alanis Morissette. Clean by Taylor Swift. My favorite song is Weak by AJR. Cause I'm weak, yeah. What makes you beautiful? Probably American Pie. Um, I know all the words to all eight minutes. My favorite song is Vienna by Billy Joel because it's timeless and it's so good. <laughs> Ain't Talking About Love by Van Halen. House of the Rising Sun by The Animals. Favorite songs, Lose Yourself. Uh, Late Night Talking by Harry Styles. My favorite song, I think it's Love You Anymore by Michael Bublé. My favorite song is All Yorn by Tyler Childers. Probably Jason Arullo's hit single, Acapulco. My favorite song is Bathroom Light by Mountjoy. My favorite song has got to be Panama by Van Halen. Uh, Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd. Can't Hold Us by Macklemore. Take On Me by Aha. Uh -huh. Fine Line by Harry Styles. Miss Independent by Kelly Clarkson. A Sunday Kind of Love by Etta James. My favorite song is Come On Eileen. My favorite song is Apocalypse Dreams by Tame Impala. 
My favorite song is Gary Come Home by SpongeBob. Save a Horse by Big and Rich. My favorite song is Famous Friends by Chris Young. My favorite song is High School by Nicki Minaj. Dancing in the Moonlight by King Harvest. I Knew You Were Trouble by Taylor Swift. Uh, my favorite song is Like Real People Do by Hozier. 16 by Baby Keem. Uh, Rose Golden by Kid Cudi. Beauty and the Bee by Justin Bieber <laughs> featuring Nicki Minaj. I would have to say my favorite song would have to be Boy's a Liar Part 2. Ice Spice really outdoes herself in that song and it's truly powerful. Mary Jane's Last Dance by Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. My favorite song would be Separate Ways by Journey. Billie Jean by Michael Jackson. My favorite song is Hotel California by the Eagles. My favorite song is In the Summertime by Mungo Jerry. Put Me Through by Arrows in Action. My favorite song is Buddy Holly by Weezer. My favorite song is My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion. Um, I would say my favorite song is Lose Yourself by Eminem. Shout out G-Man. I would say my favorite song is The Real Some Shady by Eminem. Mirrors by Justin Timberlake. My favorite song is Dancing Queen. Favorite song is Heat Waves. My favorite song is Empire State of Mind by Jay-Z and Alicia Keys. My favorite decade of music is early 2000s, preferably really cheesy boy band music. Um, my favorite decade of music is the 70s. The 70s. I like a good throwback R&B. My favorite decade of music is the 2000s. Uh, for me, it's a toss up between the 70s and 80s, but I'm have to go with the 70s. Anything 90s and 2000s. This is all thanks to my mom. My favorite decade is the 80s. Probably the 80s. The 50s. Uh, my favorite decade of music is 90s. I would say probably the 2000s. Uh, probably the early 2000s. 2010, even though I like the 1980s too. 2010s. I think my favorite decade of music is the 80s. It's just got a lot of... My favorite decade would be the 80s because it's full of fun outfits, uh, awesome dance moves, and amazing music. Probably 70s or 80s. The 70s. Definitely the 2010s. The 70s. Uh, I don't think there's another correct answer besides the 80s. My favorite decade of music has to be the 80s. I don't think there's any other decade that can match it. Uh, it's got to be the 80s. There's just, you, it's hard to pick a banger from there. Definitely the 80s. My favorite decade of music has to be the 2010s. My favorite decade of music has to be from the early 2000s to now. My favorite decade of music is probably the 2000s. My favorite decade of music is the 1980s. Ooh, 1950s for sure. The 90s. Probably the 70s. Um, I like the early 2000s because that's when I grew up. I think my favorite decade is probably the 70s or 80s. Um, I think all the music from that era really influenced like music that we have today. So, My favorite decade is the 2000s because Kesha, I love you. My favorite decade of music has to be the 2020s because that's when the pandemic music came out. Favorite decade of music has probably got to be the 2000s. My favorite decade of music is the 2010s and 2020s. My favorite decade of music is the 70s. The 2000s. Probably 90s into 2000s. Probably 2010s. Probably the 60s. 
Um, probably the 2000s or 2010s, because that's when I, like, that was the music I was listening to when I grew up. My favorite decade of, decade of music would probably be the 2000s. I would have to say my favorite decade of music would have to be the 2000s, because my dad would listen to a lot of 2000s music with us growing up, and it's just what I've grown up on. My favorite decade of music is the 90s. I love the, pop, the punk scene and the grunge scene as well. Uh, probably the 2000s. My favorite decade of music is the early 2000s. Uh, my favorite decade is the 70s. The early 2000s. My favorite decade of music is the 90s. Definitely the 90s. Uh, I'd say the early 2000s. I would say my favorite decade is 2000s. 2000s. The 80s. My favorite decade of music is 2010. Welcome back to Songfest 2023 Rocket Evolution. At, at this time, everyone, please return to your seats so we can proceed with the show.
Now, let's move forward with our women's competition. Chi Omega was nationally founded on April 5, 1895, and was chartered at the University of Toledo on November 3, 1944. Chi Omega currently has 181 collegiate chapters and just initiated their 400,000th member, making Chi Omega the nation's largest women's organization. Chi Omega has six purposes that they strive to pursue in their everyday life. Those six purposes are friendship, scholarship, high standards of personnel, community service, career development, and participation in campus activities. Chi Omega has nationally been partnered with Make-A-Wish since 2002 and since then has raised over $33 million and volunteered over 1.4 million hours. Tonight, Chi Omega presents a history lesson on key dance moves through the decades. They dive into years of excellence in production of their chapter and learning how to dance to the music. Presenting my sisters, Kaya Records.
Delta Phi Epsilon was founded at the New York University Law School March 17, 1917. DeFi-E was built with the values of justice, sisterhood, and love. Their Gamma Tau chapter was founded in 2013 at UT. Their sorority supports the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, the National Association for Anore Anorexia Nervosa and Associated Disorders, as well as the Delta Phi Epsilon Education Foundation. They raise money for these organizations through events like the 65 Roses Gala, Scopes for CF, DeFi E Mac and Cheese, and Dimes for DeFi E. Tonight, the Sisters of Delta Phi Epsilon invite us to join them as they travel to explore their favorite hits throughout the decades. Presenting Destination DeFi E.
Alpha Omicron Pi was founded nationally on January 2, 1987 at Barnard College. The Theta Psi chapter was established at the University of Toledo on November 11, 1944. Founded on the core values of character, dignity, scholarship, and college loyalty, there are nearly 210,000 members amongst 136 collegiate chapters worldwide. Each year, they raise money for their philanthropy, the Arthritis Foundation. Their most well-known events include Ao Pierogies, Jingle Bell Run, and Ao Pie Goes Blue. In addition, members are involved in organizations such as Mortarboard, Order of Omega, Rocketbond, Levis Leadership, Camp Kesem, UT Inclusion, and ROTC. Tonight, Alpha Omicron Pi recognizes pop divas as strong and influential women of the past and present. Their performance is a testament to how Ao Pi strive to constantly better themselves in becoming the future generation of powerful women. Presenting Every Decade Has a Diva. Never know how much I love you. Never know how much I care. When you put your arms around me, I get a fever that's so hard to bear. You give me fever. When you kiss me, fever when you hold me tight. Fever in the morning. Yeah. 
Alpha Z Delta was founded in 1893 in Galesburg, Illinois with the core values of leadership, knowledge, service, and sisterhood. The Theta Chi chapter at the University of Toledo was started in 1997. Their philanthropy, the Kindly Hearts Initiative, supports kids and teens experiencing homelessness and foster care. They raise money through their philanthropy, ZD with Disease. Additionally, Alpha Z Delta participates in Rockathon, Big Event, and Relay for Life. The sisters of Alpha Z Delta help each other realize their potential within their sisterhood and beyond. Tonight, they're all about spreading Z love. Their performance is less about a specific relationship and more about love in general. They want you to be their baby. Presenting Alpha Z is a sucker for you!
Pi Beta Phi was founded on April 28, 1867, making it the first fraternity for women. More than 300,000 Pi Phi's proudly claim membership throughout the nation and in Canada. Pi Beta Phi is recognized as a premier organization that was founded on the core values of integrity, lifelong commitment, honor and respect, personal and intellectual growth, philanthropic service to others, and sincere friendship. Pi Phi believes in the power of reading to create a more literate and productive society. Tonight, Pi Beta Phi welcomes everyone to their disco party. From Elvis to the Beatles to Harry Styles, we've all sung along to these heartbreak ballads and cry in the car songs. But now, they want you to leave your worries behind and dance. Presenting Pi Beta Phi, the Independent Angels.
Established at the university in 1945, Alpha Chi Omega focuses on empowering real strong women to reach greater heights through sisterhood, service, and leadership development. The women of Alpha Chi Omega are committed to spreading awareness about domestic violence, working with survivors, and fundraising by hosting events such as Nacho Night and Walk a Mile in Her Shoes. Tonight, they want to share that love isn't always easy. No matter who you are, we've all experienced the highs and lows of love. Love is what unites each and every one of us. And while every relationship has its ups and downs, they wanted to demonstrate that even when things are challenging, you will survive. Presenting New Year, Same Love. Tri-Delta was founded on the values of truth, self-sacrifice, and friendship in 1888 at Boston University. The Phi Alpha chapter was founded in 1944 here at the University of Toledo. 
In 1999, Tri-Delta officially partnered up with St. Jude Research Hospital to be recognized as their national philanthropy. In 2021, Tri-Delta raised $60 million for St. Jude in only eight years, beating their 10-year fundraising goal two years early. The women of Tri-Delta are involved in many different organizations on campus, which include Order of Omega, Pi Sigma Epsilon, Rockathon, Relay for Life, and many more. Tonight, through their performance, they want to show the liberation of women through the decades. Their performance is a timeline of how women empowerment has evolved with time, presenting the evolution of women empowerment.
Phi Sigma Rho is a social sorority for engineering and applied science majors that was founded in 1984 at Purdue University. The Delta chapter was established at the University of Toledo in 1992. Phi Sigma Rho promotes the values of friendship, scholarship, and encouragement. The national philanthropy for Phi Sigma Rho is the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, which the Delta chapter supports with events such as Light Up the Night and their philanthropy dinner, Phyro Churros. Phi Sigma Rho also participates in many activities on campus, such as Big Event, Homecoming, Relay for Life, and Greek Week. Tonight, they chose to portray the evolution of rock music through the decades with their music, outfits, and choreography. It's time to rock and roll, presenting Rock and Fyro! Kappa Delta was, sorority was nationally founded on October 23, 1897 in Farmville, Virginia. The chapter of Beta Nu was locally founded at Toledo on April 27, 1946. There are over 290,000 Kappa Deltas around the world and 168 active collegiate chapters. Kappa Delta supports Prevent Child Abuse America and Girl Scouts of the USA. Beta Nu supports PCAA through their philanthropy dinners, Shamrock Shakes, and Wingo Bingo. 
Kappa Delta's core values include friendship and loyalty, personal integrity, lifelong learning, and selfless service. Kappa Delta also has a commitment to building confidence and inspiring action in others. Tonight, they wanted to demonstrate this statement by incorporating their core value of confidence into their performance. They also want to empower girls and teach them the importance of taking control and feeling confident in themselves. Women have come a long way through the decades and they will show this through their performance, presenting Confidence Through the Decades. Let's have another round of applause for all the sororities in the women's division.
Thank you to all the performers in the women's competition. All of your hard work and dedication was clearly evident on the stage this evening. I would now like to welcome to the stage Kaylee George from the Philanthropy Committee. Hello everyone. We would now like to announce that this will be your last opportunity to contribute to tonight's philanthropy, the Bethany House which makes a lasting impact on those in this community. This is also your final chance to cast a vote for the organization of your choosing to win the Cheryl Thomas People's Choice Award. You can vote through donations and every contribution counts, even if it's just a dollar. We will stop, accept we will stop accepting donations at 7.50 p.m. However, feel free to donate to the Bethany House personally. We thank you all for your continued support. We will now bring the current class of Blue Key Honor Society to the stage for recognition and the introduction of the 2023-2024 class. I would like to welcome our current president, Mr. Jonathan Kopaz. Eighty-seven years ago, an organization known as ARCS was formed at the university to recognize men who are actively involved in service and leadership within the community of UT. Membership was limited to just 13 upper-class students. In 1952, the organization was accepted as a chapter of Blue Key National Honor Society, founded on the pillars of leadership, scholarship, and service. As keepers of tradition, we have the honor of upholding two of the university's oldest traditions, the Edward C. Schmeichel Homecoming Parade and co-sponsoring Songfest. Before the presentation of this year's inductees, I would first like to introduce to you the 2022-2023 class, beginning with number one, Dima Herzala. Number two, Jada Alcantara. Number three, Mackenzie Hofer. Number four, Alex Santoro. Number five, Jeremiah Snyder. Number six, Peyton Elliott. Number seven, Nathan Scott. Alumni brother eight, Sharvery Brahmi. Number nine, Holly Heck. Number 10, Hannah Spillett. Number 11, Chris Da Silva. <laughs> Alumni brother 12, Isabella Wake. <laughs> and yours truly, number 13, Jonathan Kopaz. <laughs> it is now my pleasure to begin the introduction to the 2023-2024 class of Blue Key Honor Society. I encourage everyone in the audience whose heart just dropped hearing that to take a deep breath. As always, the decision was not an easy one. Blue Key is proud to honor these truly deserving individuals for their dedication to and the improvement of campus and the surrounding community. As each individual is announced, please come to the stage to receive your Waldemar key. of the ARCS chapter of Blue Key class of 2023-2024 is a student leader who believes in creating safe spaces for students of different backgrounds. She's an active member in her community and on campus. This student is a part of the Bakta MD program and a sister of Chi Omega. The vo uh, she volunteers at the Red Cross and teaches Bible studies to children as a part of H2O. As a transracial adoptee, she learned more about her heritage and learned to be loud and proud of it. Then, she, then to instill the same pride for others, she established a safe space and community to share their experiences. The president of Adoptees Circle of Empowerment, it is my pleasure to introduce Ms. Lainey Hoyt.
The second inductee has shown what it means to be a loyal member of her involved organizations, including her sorority, her co-ed pharmacy fraternity, and within the College of Pharmacy on the Diversity, Equity, Inclusion, and Accessibility Committee. She remains loyal, yet maintains objectivity by keeping her sisters accountable and bridges gaps of conflict even between boxes that appear stubborn. You may find her at your local Crunch Fitness or getting her lift on or at Condado's Tacos enjoying a steak bowl. Please join me in welcoming the second inductee, my dearest friend, Cincinnati native, the current Vice President of Chi Omega, Ms. Megan Carl. It is my honor to introduce you to the third inductee of the ARCS this evening. This unique individual is a model for advocating for multicultural student success on our campus. They demonstrate their value of service by serving meals to those in need and organizing volunteer opportunities for their organizations. They prove their commitment for academic excellence by participating as a student in the Joseph Scott Honors College and Multicultural Emerging Scholar Program. Always chasing after new opportunities, this individual has recently become an associate member of Alpha Psi Lambda Intense New Chapter. She serves as a vice president for both the Global Latinx Student Union and the Undergraduate Law Society. Watch out because she's a black belt in karate. Please join me in celebrating the next three of the ARC Chapter of Blue Key, Ms. Erica Sakoto. <laughs> I'm excited to introduce you all to tonight's fourth inductee. This individual is someone who has recently been using their energy to become a rising leader on campus. During his time here at the University of Toledo, he has developed a profound appreciation for Toledo and the traditions that encompass it. This individual is eager to continue to push himself and expand his horizons, and that is clear to see with his involvement in Sigma Phi Epsilon, Toledo Launchpad, and Bridge. With a passionate increased student involvement on campus, it is evident that this individual knows what it means to be a true rocket. Please help me in welcoming the fourth inductee into the ARCS chapter at Blue Key, the Vice President of Toledo Launchpad and Vice President of Recruitment for Sigma Phi Epsilon. Number four on the line, but number one in your hearts, Mr. Rudy Dua. I am incredibly honored to announce our fifth inductee tonight into the ARCS chapter of Blue Key National Honor Society. This individual has served to embody the pillars of scholarship, leadership, and service. I've had the great pleasure of watching this individual grow as both a leader and a man since the fall of 2020. He has been involved in numerous orgs such as Bridge Club, Order of Omega, Multi-Faith Council. In their time at the University of Toledo, they have served to foster kinship within, within his own fraternity, Kappa Delta Rho, by being the secretary and service chairman of his chapter and leading his fraternity out of tough times. He has shown throughout his service at the Huntington Center and the Seagate Food Bank the values of honesty and courage. 
Please join me in welcoming the fifth inductee to the ARCS chapter of Blue Key, the man, the myth, the legend, Jacob Lombardi. This year's sixth inductee has shown their abilities as a mentor and leader of those they serve on and around Toledo's campus. This individual exemplifies his appreciation for the eternal growth and guidance of underclassmen through his participation in rocket movement and various positions he has held within his chapter. His involvement through Seagate Food Bank, Big Event, Wrap Up Toledo, Relay for Life, Rockathon, and many more have all shown his passion for service. However, his values are deeply rooted in environmental sustainability. He has fostered his care for the Toledo area wildlife through organizations such as Clean Water for the World, Society of Environmental Advocates, Toledo Grows, and Toledo Metro Parks. This individual's ability to be an example for those he leads has not gone unnoticed. Please join me in welcoming the sixth inductee to the ARCS cha chapter of Blue Key National Honor Society, current president of Kappa Delta Rho, Mr. Samuel Neuberger. I am thrilled to announce the seventh inductee of tonight. This individual grew in the face of adversity and became an outstanding leader on our campus. Bringing their youthful nature to the organizations, they became connected to all areas of the Toledo community and continued to give their all in the categories of scholarship, leadership, and service. Starting by her selfless selfless act of raising money for the Victory Center. Her service to the community includes Volley for Veterans, College Mentors for Kids, Rockets for Kidneys, and much, much more. Through her involvement in Chi Omega, Treat People with Kindness, and Snow Pile, she truly understands the importance of making connections all throughout campus. Please join me in welcoming the seventh inductee of tonight into the ARCS chapter of Blue Key, the current new member educator and ritual advisor of Chi Omega and Rockathon planning director, a woman who is truly lucky for all of her experience, Miss Abby Kohler. I'm really excited to be here on behalf of the current Brother Eight. <laughs> uh, it is my distinct honor to introduce the eighth inductee into the ARCS chapter of Blue Key. This individual demonstrates a commitment to those around them, leaving a positive impact on all who they encounter. Through their academic achievements and lengthy campus involvement, this leader demonstrates a crazy work ethic and leaves everyone they meet with the distinct impression of one with an incredibly high moral standard. 
When not excelling in the classroom, they assume a role of improving Toledo and the campus community through their role in the UT MAPS, MENA, NAMA, Multi-Faith Council, and donating their time to mentor students through Levis leadership. Their successes have not been limited to personal achievement, however, but have been rooted in the successes that they can bring to those around them. From a sharp focus on patient care and bridging the gap in healthcare disparities, she works tirelessly to achieve equity amongst underrepresented populations in the field of medicine. Through her individual, extraordinary efforts to better her campus community, she exemplifies the utmost balance amongst her goals, activities, and achievements. It is not only an honor, but an extreme pleasure to introduce to you a role model of high moral character and tonight's eighth inductee into the ARCS chapter, founder and president of UT First Generation Pre-Medical Association, Ms. Athir Amer. It is with great honor and privilege that I announce tonight's ninth inductee. This individual always finds a way to make an impact in whatever community they get involved in. Through their involvement at the university, they have realized the importance of working to serve those in need in their community. This deserving individual uses compassion as a guide to serve, hoping that through this, they might make someone's day a little bit better. As the president of the service organization Bridge, he understands that although a sacked lunch might only satisfy the hunger of underserved individuals for an afternoon, the act of handing them the food and wishing them a good day provides light and kindness to a period of their life that can be dark and uncertain. Whether it's through his involvement and commitment to Bridge or his fraternity, Sigma Phi Epsilon, he has shown undeniable growth as a student leader. As the vice president of programming for SIGEP, he hopes to develop in his brothers a passion for helping the community around them. Holding himself and his brothers accountable, he continues to grow into a balanced man, demonstrating virtue and diligence in the Toledo community. This applicant truly demonstrates the blue key mentality of serving I live, and will forever be remembered for how he has used his abilities to pour energy and passion for service into the University of Toledo community. Please help me welcome to the stage our ninth inductee, Mr. Sean Hanna. that I introduce you to our 10th inductee. This individual has lived her life guided by her passion for her community and search for growth as a leader. This student leader exemplifies the three pillars of this organization reflected by her dedication to her sorority, presidential ambassadors, and woman in business leadership. She spends her time focusing on making connections and preparing herself for her future career. Her commitment to service in the University of Toledo is best seen through her volunteering with the College of Business Career Fair, the University of Toledo Homecoming Gala, and the Girl Scouts College Experience. In addition to these truly admirable service and leadership positions, this respectable leader devotes her time to maintaining academic excellence. She is the epitome of her sorority's values of friendship and loyalty, personal integrity, lifelong learning, and selfless service. 
Please join me in welcoming the 10th inductee of the night, a woman with a fierce passion for personal growth and hard work, the current president of the Beta Nu chapter of Kappa Delta, Ms. Chloe Weaver. I'm incredibly proud that I'm able to introduce tonight's 11th inductee. Driven by their values of acceptance and integrity, this individual has made a profound impact on our beloved university and our community. While he's a faithful and committed brother of his fraternity, he is also a member of Delta Rho Tau and Lambda Sigma. He has always found the courage to speak up for what he believes is right, no matter the outcome. Guided by his incredible work ethic and strong introspective skills, he has shaped himself into one amazing leader. Serving the Toledo community with organizations such as Food for Thought, Feed My Starving Children, and the American Red Cross. Please join me in welcoming a true gentleman and my brother, Mr. Colin Tubes. Everyone, it is with great joy and a humble heart that I introduce the 12th inductee of the night. This individual's demonstration of fervor towards the accomplishments of their goals with a greater purpose proves what it means to give your all. From giving their time to serve on an international level with global medical brigades to helping peers get in touch with necessary resources on their pre-medical journey as a first-generation student, proving them with various services, opportunities throughout the greater Toledo area, as well as guiding their fraternity to acknowledge, embrace, support, and accept people of all racial, sexual, gender, religious, and socioeconomic backgrounds as their diversity, equity, and inclusion chair. This individual exemplifies how one's dedication to their own personal causes can lead to greater good. It is with my great honor to tap the 12th inductee of the 2023-2024 class of the ARCS Chapter Blue Key, the current president of Kappa Delta Rho, Mr. Adam Fredericks. Good evening, everyone. Our 13th and final inductee of the night has demonstrated their excellence on campus by being the epitome of true scholarship, service of others, and servant leadership. This student leader constantly strives to connect with and listen to their peers, colleagues, and members of the Toledo community by being empathetic, compassionate, and trustworthy. In addition to their diverse campus involvement, this studious leader is also working on cancer biology research. 
While his scholarship and leadership are truly evident, his service expands beyond campus as he has devoted his time to Backpacks for Humans in downtown Toledo, as well as multiple international trips to countries in Central America. He truly embodies what it means to be a tower of leadership on this campus and throughout the community. Ladies and gentlemen, I would love to introduce to you the 13th and final inductee of the ARCS chapter of Blue Key, the current Vice President of Global Metal Brigades, Bridge U Toledo and AED, and the President of Sigma Phi Epsilon, Mr. Tarek Davuri. Please join me in a round of applause for the Blue Key class of 2023 2024. <laughs> the ARCS chapter of Blue Key Honor Society has been recognizing the University of Toledo's most outstanding leaders since 1935. This evening, Blue Key has chosen to induct an individual from the community who has shown tremendous dedication and effort towards making Toledo known nationally for its leadership and for making significant contributions to our fine university. It is with great pleasure that the Blue Key class of 2022-2023 recognizes the following as honorary members. Our first honorary inductee this year into the ARCS chapter of Blue Key has truly put the University of Toledo on a global stage over the last 10 years. This inductee comes from Hungary, obtaining her MA, PharmD, and PhD in pharmaceutics, all from the University of Szeged. She recently published her second edition of the text, Introduction to Cosmetic Formulation and Technology, and has been a part of more than 20 scientific publications. Just recently, on March 15th, this inductee officially became a US citizen. As she is soon to celebrate graduating her 10th class of cosmetic science students next year, we would love to honor this individual that has worked tirelessly for her students and the future of the cosmetics industry. We are ecstatic to welcome the creator of the nation's first comprehensive program for a bachelor's degree in cosmetic science and formulation design, the faculty advisor of the Cosmetic Chemist Society, Dr. Gabriella Bakke. Our second honorary inductee is the Assistant Director for Greek Life in the Office of Student Involvement and Leadership. He manages the operation, assessment, and oversight for the Greek community, consisting of 35 individual chapters and over 1,300 undergraduate members. He joined the University of Toledo in 2017 and has enjoyed every opportunity that has been put in front of him. He has a Bachelor of Arts in History from Albright College and a Master's in Higher Education and Student Affairs from Western Carolina University. He is a native of North Canton, Ohio. He is responsible for the strategic oversight for the fraternity and sorority community, community service and civic engagement initiatives, annual homecoming celebration, and supporting the 400 plus student organizations on campus. He loves working with emerging leaders to help them achieve their personal goals and those of their organizations, along with building a more inclusive and supportive Greek community. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Alex Zernikol.
Our final honorary inductee of the night began their journey with UT this last year. This individual was hired on as the Vice President for Intercollegiate Athletics and the Director of Athletics for the University of Toledo. When they assumed their position on May 1st of last year, this individual became the first African American to hold the post, as well as becoming the youngest FBS athletic director in the country. Their passion for excellence in leadership, scholarship, and philanthropy make them a perfect candidate to be tapped in as an honorary Blue Key member. Through the foundation of organizations such as the 1923 Society, which was designed to support rocket student athletes in their academic, athletic, and personal pursuits, this person has made an immediate impact on the campus and in the community. Please help me in welcoming to the stage, Mr. Brian Blair. I don't believe that Brian Blair is still in the building, so we'll go ahead and move on, but congratulations to Brian Blair. Congratulations to the new class of Blue Key Honor Society and the newly, in newly inducted honorees. Now, I present to you the 2022-2023 class of Blue Key with the singing of the University of Toledo alma mater. Blue Crew is a secret student organization made up of 10 spirited individuals dedicated to instituting, reviving, and maintaining U Toledo traditions. You can find them at numerous events on campus and in the community, including home and away football and basketball games. They love to pump up the crowd in their blue or yellow wigs, painted overalls, and Converse All-Star shoes. Please welcome the members of Blue Crew as they reveal two of their secret members. Big Bird was hatched underneath the bell tower at 1.07 a.m. on February 26, 2020. Known for its horrible dancing, feisty hand wraps, lucky chain, and plucky personality, Big Bird has worked hard to make the most out of the three years he has been in Blue Crew. Big Bird loved crowd surfing at concerts, hijacking college tours, dancing with the dancing Rockettes, and doing his best to be a light to the Toledo community. Big Bird would like to thank his family and friends for supporting him. Every Rocket fan he had the pleasure of interacting with, as well as his brothers and sisters in Blue Crew, for one unforgettable ride. Big Bird served Blue Crew as the Alumni Relations Chair, as well as the Ritual Chair. On campus, Big Bird is a Levis Leadership student and facilitator, 
a third-year freshman camp counselor, and Rocketthon's Children's Miracle Network director. Graduating in December 2023, majoring in mechanical engineering with a minor in business, at night and at games, you've known him as the heart-stopping. Stair-stopping. Smooth up. House rocking. Earthquaking. Breathtaking. Booty shaking. History making. Legendary Big Bird. But by day and forevermore, you'll know him as Samuel Jefferson Weller. And he is an avid rocket fanatic. Sauce Boss was born on September 15th at the wee early hours of the morning in the year 2020 as the 120th member of Blue Crew, alongside her twin, Tootsie. Some of her favorite memories from her time in Blue Crew included watching the Rockets win MAC championships, jam sessions to holiday room service, and as always, beating that stinky team 25 miles down south. During her time in this group, she served as a philanthropy chair, and this past year, she had the honor of being the Blue Dude, aka President. Sauce Boss is proud to announce that she will be returning in the fall for the, to the University of Toledo for graduate school studying speech language pathology. When Sauce Boss wasn't in mask and dodging questions where she was, you could see her all over campus. You may have seen her as a member of the National Student Speech, Hearing, and Language Association, the president of Residence Halls Association, the interim president of the National Residence Halls Honorary, and the administrative residence advisor at Parks Tower. When she wasn't hanging around the res halls and studying in the library, she was creating memories with her sisters of Delta Phi Epsilon at night and at the games you knew her as Sauce Boss. But now and forevermore as Caitlin Marie Rabel, and she's an avid rocket fanatic. UT's powerful mascot was created during the 1966 to 1967 academic year by the Spirits and Traditions Committee of Student Government. Various students were selected to dress up for several games. During the fall of 1968, the first official Rocky the Rocket, Bill Navar, emerged. Clad in the Rocky costume, Bill displayed his super spirit at both home and away football and basketball games. The costume, a waste paper basket with a pointed rocket top made of paper mache, was made by the theater department. Roxy was introduced in the fall of 2011 and serves alongside Rocky to excite the rocket fans. She loves going to athletic events and special programs both on campus and throughout the community. Roxy is smart, kind, and loves everything midnight blue and gold. Tonight, we are honored to celebrate three rockets who served as Rocky and Roxy throughout their collegiate experience at UT. Roxy 14 was born on September 29, 2021. She stands at five feet tall with the Roxy boots on, making her one of the shortest Roxies. During her two years being the university's mascot, you could have seen Roxy 14 at football games, basketball games, parades, and notable events such as the T-Pain concert, Jeep Fest, the Pride Parade, the Barstool Sports Tailgate, cutting down the net with the men's and women's basketball team, and even getting to travel with the women's basketball team to the NCAA March Madness Tournament in Knoxville, Tennessee. Throughout her time as Roxy, Roxy 14 has had a college experience like no other and has met the most amazing people and thanks every person who has supported her along the way. She is extremely grateful she got the chance to show off her amazing dance moves like no one is watching. But now it's time to meet the girl under the head. It's my honor to say goodbye to Roxy14 and introduce you to my best friend, Megan Knight. You have probably 
probably noticed Rocky number 77 dancing around events on and off campus. Rocky has been representing the University of Toledo now for two years, pursuing a degree in early childhood education. You may have seen him busting a move from Buffalo to San Diego or even in the shoe. You may have also seen him racing down the field of the glass bowl or hanging with the rowdy row in Savage Arena. One of Rocky's favorite memories is dancing with the Dancing Rockettes during halftime during numerous games, such as MAC Tournament and U of M, as well as stunning with the incredible cheerleaders. Rocky would also like to thank every individual who has helped make this experience one to remember for a lifetime. Thank you to the fellow teammates and friends who have kept this secret for so long, and for his parents who have traveled near and far to support. It is now time to say goodbye to Rocky number 77, and hello to Hannah Post. Roxy number 16 has been rocking around campus for the past year and a half. During that time, she has loved getting to know all of the students and fans at football and basketball games. Some of her favorite memories include stunting with the cheer team and breaking it down with the dance team. But her all-time favorite had to be watching the women's basketball team beat BG for the MAC Conference Championship. She wants to give a big shout out to everyone a part of Mission Control and Blue Crew for making her time so memorable. Walking at graduation to receive her degrees in biology and French, you once knew her as Roxy number 16. You now know her as Kelsey Rubel. I'm the biggest Jason Rulo fan in the history of the world. Just in case nobody knew that. <laughs> That's so much better. I never part for you. I love Jason Rulo. Jason Rulo. <laughs> Uh, my favorite song's gotta be the Dora Ex the Explorer theme song. <laughs> Does my hair look cute? Oh, it looks fantastic. Baby. Yeah, I already knew that. Do you feel bonita? I feel bonita. You look bonita. <laughs> Alright. What's your favorite song? Um, that one. Give me a song to play. Give me a song that makes y'all goop. It's mine. Tell you what I'm about. It's on a big side. Justin. This is better than everything they got up there. Ooh, ooh, stare. <laughs> and what does Song Fest mean to you? Song Fest? <laughs> Raise money. TPS? <laughs> Beth, I know, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Such a time to be alive. Okay. Girls cheap of a new detail. Oh, I can't go back there. Okay, I'll stand up here. <laughs> <laughs> 
Whoa! This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. The happy song fest. We love Bethany House. <laughs> This isn't part of the script, but I just want everyone to take a second and see what time it is. This might go down as one of the shortest song fests in a very long time. We are running like four to 30 minutes ahead of schedule, so I hope y'all enjoyed. <laughs> Before the final scores are released, Yash and I would like to present three special awards. Our first award of the night is the Outstanding Individual Performer of the Year, which honors an individual who has significantly contributed to making their organization's performance the best it can be. This award recognizes an individual performer who went above and beyond to support their organization in Songfest. Tonight's recipient for this award embodies the team spirit by always motivating his brothers to stay positive and have a good time through his energy and excitement. The nominator wrote, he took time out of his busy schedule to help a teammate who had fallen behind on choreography. He is also the quickest one to pick up new choreography and works with his directors to teach others, thereby reducing our stress. He is the, outs the definition of an outstanding performer. Congratulations to the recipient of the Outstanding Individual Performer of the Year Award, Phi Kappa Psi's very own Zach Jones. <laughs> Our next award is the Chase Duval MC's Choice Award, which honors the director of a participating organization that shows an outstanding dedication to Songfest. Chase was a member of Pi Kappa Alpha who served as their Songfest director. His dedication and passion for Songfest was evident in his performances. Chase tragically passed, in, passed away in 2018, but in his short time at the University of Toledo, he truly demonstrated his selflessness and passion for others. The director selected for this honor was a rock star this year. They were not only a great communicator, but a pleasure to have at director's meetings. This recipient was always willing to ask questions and turn in necessary pieces early and with accuracy. It is safe to say this individual is the perfect person for this award, given her dedication to not only her chapter, but to Songfest itself. Congratulations to the recipient of tonight's Chase Duval MC's Choice Award from Delta Delta Delta, Isabella Blair. It seems Isabella is not here, but she will be notified of her award. Our final award of the night is the Cheryl Thomas People's Choice Award. Throughout her time at the University of Toledo, Cheryl was always a strong and passionate advocate for students and giving back to the community. It is in her loving memory that this award was created. Throughout the night, people have been voting for the team they felt deserving of a win. It is with great honor that I now announce the first winner of the Cheryl Thomas People's Choice Award. This award goes to Kai Omega.
At this time, we would like to welcome back to the stage a member of our philanthropy team, Kaylee George. Thank you, Yash. We would now like to present the Bethany House with the funds we have raised over the course of the last few months. It is nothing short of incredible for the University of Toledo student body and the Toledo community to come together to help raise awareness regarding domestic violence in our community. Once again, the money fundraised tonight will aid in the contribution to the Bethany House to empower survivors of domestic violence and their children by providing long-term transitional shelter and advocacy to maximize safety, ensure access to resources, and restore hope with dignity and respect. Due to technical difficulties with our fundraising website tonight, we are unable to announce the highest fundraisers from each division. But we will do so at a later date through our Instagram. We apologize for the inconvenience and appreciate your patience as we work to resolve the issue. However, <laughs> I do have the pleasure in announcing a total of $14,940 and one cent raised for the Bethany House. <laughs> And now, the moment you have all been waiting for. <laughs> the trophy presentations for Songfest 2023 Rocket Evolution. We will begin with the men's division. Third place in the men's division of Songfest 2023 goes to, can I get a drum roll? Da -da 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 -da. Kappa Delta Rho! <laughs> that was a lot. And in second place, please join me in congratulating the men of Sigma Phi Epsilon. <laughs>
Finally, the first place men's winner of Songfest 2023 Rocket Evolution is, drum roll, Pi Kappa Alpha! And now moving on to the awards for the co-ed division. In second place, please join me in congratulating the International Students Association. And the winner of the co-ed division for Songfest 2023 goes to the Catholic Students Association! Finally, we present the awards for the women's division. Third place honors in the women's division of Songfest 2023 goes to Kappa Delta.
And in second place, please join me in congratulating the women of, drum roll please, Delta, Delta, Delta! the final jump scare of the night. <laughs> Finally, first place in Songfest 2023, Rocket Evolution are the women of Pi Beta Phi. Congratulations once again to all the award winners in Songfest 2023. Another huge thank you to our special donor and sponsor that went above and beyond to make Songfest 2023 possible, Sylvan Studios. Without your financial contribution, the tradition of Songfest could not have been earned on, and we are eternally grateful for that. We hope that you enjoyed this magical night of performances and awards. Jada and I would like to thank you again for coming to Songfest 2023 Rocket Evolution. Good night and go Rockets!